Hey, hey everybody, this is Larry. This is day 24 of the Lico Day Challenge. Oh man, they haven't had one in a while. Hit the like button, hit the subscribe button, join me on Discord. Let me know what you think about today's bomb. Search a two-day matrix too. Okay, given an, uh, an M by N matrix. Each row is sorted, each column is sorted. Hmm? Oh yeah, okay. And then what are we looking for? Oh, we're looking for a number. Okay. So, so this is one of those classic problems. Uh, I think you're supposed to try to find an invariant. Um, I'm not going to lie. I feel like I'm always generally very bad about this. Um, obviously, if you just do naive, it's going to be all times C, which is linear. But we can do a little bit better. And then the question is, try to eliminate the, the solutions or a possible solution one at a time um, to and I think that's the general idea that I'm trying to come up with um, let's kind of see if we can do it together right uh, let me also I'll put this in a better way maybe I could have just used my drawing pad um, all right, let me just do that hang on hang on friends hope everyone's doing all right uh, the contest earlier was a little bit yeah. I've been still making too many silly mistakes. That's the TLDR. But hopefully this one will, uh, the one that's coming in um, a couple of hours would be a little bit better. Uh, but who knows anymore? Oops. Let's see. Hmm. Can have trouble pasting. Hang on. There we go. That took a while for some reason. Okay. So. The key thing here is just try to think about a variant or a way that we can eliminate a row at a time, right? So so it's going to be one of these things. Uh, oh, wow, I got like stuff on my on my drawing board thing. Okay. Um, and here, let's see, right? Let's say we're looking for five, right? Then what are we doing? Well, can we look at the first row and, and figure it out? Like, can we... In general, there it would only be one of a couple of ways, which is that can we eliminate a row or a column, right? Um, so let's start here. Let's say we start in the upper left. That it is arbitrary. Um, there's nothing about it. Can we eliminate either here or here? Mm, not really. So maybe we'll try another approach, and this is kind of like you know testing. Uh, let's say we start at fifteen, say right. I think in here there's some symmetry about 18, like you can probably start in either one. Again, I always talk about symmetry in a lot of these things because if there was no symmetry here, you could just flip the, the you know, you could just flip the matrix anyway. So so effectively, it is without loss of generality. Okay, so here, then what, what, what happens if we look at start at a corner? Draw a smaller circle so you can see. Um, then here, well, we can... That means that if that we can look at this column for example right because this column we can see that well if the number is smaller than this number that means that everything's lower than this is going to be four so then we can move to the right right and then here yeah that's still going to be true and then dot 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 and then up until four then we can just go down right and in this case, well, this only goes down once. So maybe this is a, I mean, so we have a, an idea of how to get there, but I don't think this, as 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 is given, we don't have a generalization yet because we basically just go 15, 11, 7, 4, and then we go down, right? And then we already find it. What if it's something like, let's say we're, Let's say we're looking for 13, right? Then what? Because right? here, this is where if you make a naive thing of just going left and then down, right? Because if you go here, or you want to look for 13, and you're here, then 13 is bigger than 7, right? So that means that we go down. What does that mean, right? That means that everything to the left of this can no longer be true because everything to the left of this is is 
bigger than the or sorry everything to the left of it is smaller than 13 and we know that 7 is bigger than 13 right so then here okay then here is it but as you can see the invariant here is that for every iteration for every move um here we know that there's one thing which is that 13 is bigger than 8 which means that everything to the left of it is gone as well so i think this is the way we can do it and here then the part that we talk about in Varian is that for every loop we eliminate either all elements or C elements. And you can only do that either or well we can do that all plus C times and then there you go. Let's see then now we go 14 and then here and then that's how you do it. Right? Okay. I think here we have a solution. So let's uh yeah, let's get let's get started on this thing. Hmm. Uh okay. Hopefully that was kind of just like a walk for my thought process. I think I never really get these correctly, but or like, you know, like I don't mem memorize these things, but I, I do have like a couple of you know philosophies to try to play around with. So yeah, so let's say we're on a zero for row, and then the last column, right? And then while um, matrix of S X S Y is not equal to target, is is it always have to be in here? Uh, oh, this is actually a true for, so you're not even, um, oh, hmm, you don't even have to find it. And I don't actually, I was going to say whether there's a, a uniqueness thing either as well. Does it matter that it's unique? Probably not, right? Because of what we said, we can always find a number from it. Okay, fine. Um, okay. So then here, now let's again, uh, I'm just trying to uh, pull up the visualization that we had, which is that here we go, if the matrix uh, thing is, well, is equal to target, then we return true, right? So, yeah, so this won't happen because, you know, of this thing. So then we can just take it out. Do, 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 do. Um, maybe. maybe, we'll figure about it, right? Yeah. But if matrix, is, the, the value is bigger than target, what does that mean? If it's bigger than target, then that means that everything below this is wrong. So then you want to move to the left. So then, the 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 the, the right? Uh, nope, wrong one. Move to the left, right? And declare everything other way. Otherwise, if matrix is greater or less, uh, yeah. Uh, and we also have to make sure that um, Sx is less than R and Sy is greater than you go to zero. I guess here we can, that's maybe a better way of doing it. And then now we can do a matrix of Sx, Sy is you go to target, we return true. Otherwise, we do this. And then here we don't have to, I mean, uh, yeah, let's just put it here for visualization. But um, And then now if the number is smaller, we know that we want to go down. So then that means that S of X plus one. Okay. And then if we leave the if we leave this conditional without you know hitting this, that means that it is false. So that's pretty much the way that I would have it. Let's give it a quick spin and making sure that maybe I don't have it off by one or something weird, but uh looks okay. Ascending, ascending, okay. Yeah, let's give it a quick submit then. Cool. Uh, yeah. What is the complexity of this, right? So note that in the worst case, S of Y decrement and uh, C times, S of X increments R times. So this is going to be a, one, this loop with one O of R plus C at most. So yeah, and space is just going to be all one space because we only have like four variables or something like this, right? And looking at the thing. So yeah. Uh, Cool. This is pretty much all I have for today. If you're doing a contest later, hope y'all do well. Hope you know, wish me a little bit of luck as well. <laughs> uh, but stay good, stay healthy, to good mental health. I'll see y'all later and take care. Bye bye.